Hi, I'm Rich Smith from Simscape. I'm here to describe the role of tools in Cadium. Cadium is an integrated simulation environment for computational fluid dynamics, or CFD. The tools you see in the tools palettes here, we have geometry tools, physics tools, and results tools, are the primary means in which you interact with a simulation. So, for instance, if I want to create geometry, then I simply take the tool and drag and drop the tool into the view window, like so, and then release the mouse, select done, and I have some geometry. It's also the way we define physics. So, for instance, again, I want to define the substance uh, taking part in this simulation in this cyclone to be air, so I take air, I drag and drop that until I can make I, until I make a selection, which in this case will be a volume, and then I select done, and now I've allocated my substance to be air, as you can see over here in the properties panel in the bottom left. Also, we use the same technique for specifying boundary conditions. If I want to specify all the boundaries of this cyclone to be a wall to start with, then I simply drag and drop wall over into the view and then I select all faces and done and that's it. Okay, it's also the way in which we create and view results. So if I take a next example, this is a uh, complete simulation for the cyclone. If I want to look at surface contours of velocity magnitude, then I simply drag and drop U onto this geometry, find the volume, and then select all faces. And then all faces will be colored according to velocity magnitude. Same goes for if I wanted to color and look at all the velocity vectors. I take U, I drag it again onto the same geometry, I find all the faces of the volume, and then this time I select arrows from this pop-up menu. As well as the drag and drop technique for using tools, you can also use uh, three other techniques and I'll cover those now. So if we go back to our original simple geometry that we created initially, we can also copy and paste tools. So if I want to create a cone, I could alternatively, instead of drag and dropping the cone, I can right click, copy the cone, click in the view window, right click again, select the simulation, paste the cone, and select done. And then we have our cone. You can also double click a tool to create uh, for instance some geometry. Let's go for a sphere. So in double clicking this sphere it will be applied to whatever's selected in the view window and in this case it's the simulation so we should just create a sphere at the origin. So if I double click sphere now and then select done I get the sphere. The final way in which we can select and use a tool is to use the Add button, which I'll come to now. So let's try a torus this time. Select the torus, and it will be applied to the current selection, which again is the simulation, so it, it will be created at the origin. And we no you may notice here we have an Add Torus button at the bottom of the Properties panel. If I use that, it's exactly equivalent to double-clicking the torus. And so here I go and select done and we have our torus thank you for watching this screencast on the role of tools in Cadium if you want to see more of Cadium and receive a free trial visit simscape.com thank you